Hello everyone, so right now I got a makeup tutorial for you. It's my favorite thing to film by the way. Um, so it's a blue and teal look and let's get started. So first we're going to do is moisturize your face. You always want to do that before you do any kind of makeup at all. Always moisturize your face. And I'm using my moisturizer. Um, this is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Orange Corrector, which I love so much because it's so thick and it's so rich and you won't even know I had darkness under my eyes once I'm done with it. And it's the greatest thing I ever spent money on. And I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics brush and blend it out. You know, make it things. <laughs> so, I'm just blending out. And then I'm going to take a foundation brush, you know, just blend out some more. I had to speed up this video because it takes me 12,000 years to do my makeup. Uh, so right now I have on concealer. I'm putting on my Maracuja Tarte Creaseless Maracuja Concealer in the color bridge. Um, if you're my skin tone, like my actual body skin tone, I would recommend getting the color lighter. I just do this under my makeup um, for more coverage, so I don't have to. So I use less foundation in those areas. Um, usually, if it was just every day, I would just do what I'm doing right now and then put a powder over my from Mac over it. And that's what I just, I just roll with that. So now I'm just setting the foundation. I mean the concealer so it doesn't slide around while we work on the eyes. So I'm applying primer because you always want to apply primer. And because it makes your eye, your, ooh, what was I saying? It makes your eye makeup last a lot longer. I remember I used to do band camp in high school and I used to come out and my makeup was looking fresh. Well, just my eyes, my makeup, my face makeup was gone. So now I'm taking my LA Girl Concealer in Fawn. I don't know, there's a theme, you can tell I like LA Girl. <laughs> and I'm blending it out with my BH Cosmetic brush. All the brushes in this video, except for that orange Real, Tenex well, Real Techniques brush, is from BH Cosmetics. I really like their brushes, you know? And then I'm going, to okay, I lied, that brush is not from BH Cosmetics. <laughs> this brush is from L, which I don't know if they still sell it. Kohl's. So then I'm taking a brown eyeshadow. This matches my skin tone, so you definitely want to take an eyeshadow that matches your skin tone. And then I'm going to take a transition color, which is just a really dark brown I have. Um, the colors I use are matte. And then I'm going to blend it out with a brush I got from Elle as well, which is sold at Kohl's. And then I'm going to take my Urban Decay eyeliner in the color siren and I'm just going to take the center of my eye and then I'm going to take the blue eyeliner which is the color radium and I'm going to take that to the outer and make like a wink I had to do a couple layers with this eyeliner. Even after I finished what I did in the eyes, I had to do it later. I did it off camera. I went, uh, That's probably why I got these eyeliners for $5. They're not the best. There's better colored eyeliners out there in the world. So that's what I'm doing now. And then I'm going to take a very skinny brush from my brush set. And I'm going to stick it in the blue thing. The blue, <laughs> the blue eyeliner. And I'm going to... Um, make a line, a, a, a curved line above my crease. To send, I'm gonna, it's gonna start from that corner of that wing and end in the middle. And then you take the other color and you, you know, you do what I'm doing in my video. <laughs> it's pretty self-explanatory. I actually really hate doing voiceovers. I don't like the way my voice sounds recording. But if I talk during videos, they would be an hour long. So, I can't win. So now I'm applying mascara to my lashes. And now I'm going to dust away the powder. And this is where I apply my foundation, which is from NARS. You got to shake it up because it's very loose. 
is the All Day Luminous Foundation. And I'm like really happy because like the first thing I bought from NARS. <laughs> so, I really, I like it so far. And I'm just blending it out, you know, applying it. And then once I do that, then I blend it out with the same brush. Some people use a beauty blender. I don't have a real beauty blender. I have like this fake blue leg one. So it doesn't do what I would like it to do. I'm thinking about buying a real one, a real beauty blender or the real technique sponge, whichever one. So now I'm blending it out. Make sure you move your hair back because I got foundation in my hair. And you definitely want to bring your foundation down to your neck because you do not want to look like you have on a mask. Like that's not cute. Like you know, like wear your makeup how you want but I don't think having a mask is cute. So definitely bring it down to your neck. Especially if your foundation doesn't match your body. I mean, does match your body. Doesn't, if your face, your natural skin tone in your face does not match your body like mine does, I definitely gotta bring that to my neck. <laughs> so now I'm going to color. Oh, I'm not color correcting. I am going to highlight with my LA Girl Concealer in the color Fawn, the brown girlfriend favorite. And I'm going to highlight with that. And I'm going to dance a little bit. And then I'm going to blend it out using another BH Cosmetic brush. I really like BH Cosmetics brushes. And I'm going to take my foundation brush again. So it looks more like less harsh and blends in better. And then I'm going to take a powder, no not yet, I'm going to contour it, which I did a really bad job of, don't, I wouldn't make the line as thick as I did, because I went a little crazy, and it looks a lot more harsh on the camera than it did when I was filming, when I was actually real time, so don't go as crazy with the contouring, you know, make a thinner line, automate a thinner line. And then we take a foundation brush, blend it out some more. Blend, blend, blend. Because with makeup, you gotta blend it out where you don't look crazy. Like, I look crazy right now. I look like, I look like someone smeared dirt on my face. So, uh, I'm gonna set my concealer before and I'm just gonna let it chill there for a second. And then I'm going to dust it off because I waited at least 10 minutes. Because I had to fix the eyeliner. I did that off camera. And then I'm going to take my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Deep Darkest. I think that's the color. And I'm going to blend it out. Because I love the way that makes... I love the, this powder with the NARS foundation. It's a really nice finish. I usually wear the powder with the Tarte Creaseless, Ma Creaseless Maracucha Concealer. That's usually my face every day. And then I'm going to take this Nika K eyeliner, it's like a purple one, and I'm going to blend it out with my finger. And then I'm going to take my favorite lipstick from Too Faced, Melted Berries. It's like a really nice color for my skin tone. And then I'm going to take this blush, it's a brightening blush, but I use it as a highlighter from Laura Geller. And I'm just you know, swiping it, making sure I look okay, I don't look crazy. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed.